about 24 hours later, the chickens have been sitting in their ice bath all night. That has brought their temperature down low so that when we do put them in the freezer, they'll freeze a lot faster. But before we can do that, we have to package them. Typically in the past, I've always used my vacuum packer to pack chickens, um, but I never really liked it because for one, the chickens are usually too big to fit in those vacuum sealer bags, at least the biggest bags that my vacuum packer can handle. So that was always kind of a pain. And for two, it just never seemed to work well trying to put a chicken, which is roughly the shape of a football into a square bag. There was always corners and the appearance wasn't very attractive. And I do sell some of these, so I like them to look nice. Um, so this year I decided to try the shrink bags. So the way that these work is first, obviously, we're gonna put the chicken in the bag. This can be <laughs> a lot more difficult than you would think sometimes if these bags are kind of sticking together, but this one went pretty easily. The instructions specifically say to put the chicken in head first or head down. And um, they also say for these bags to cut a little bit of a hole in there right on the breast. And then after you shrink them, you put a label over that hole to cover it. Now, I don't like that because I kind of see what happens with vacuum bags when they have holes in them. And it's almost a guaranteed way to get freezer burn. So I'm gonna do the traditional method of putting a straw in here to get the air out. And I have this plastic straw here that I'll use. So I stick it right in the cavity. And then to get the best results I've found it's a good idea to kind of compress this bird as much as I can and try to get all the, the slop, so to speak, out. Just so that the, uh, when you do shrink it, it's just that much less work that it has to do. So now that I've got this pretty well um, wrapped up, put a zip tie on it. This is where a third hand would be great. All right, so that is pretty good. Maybe not my best, but not my worst either. Now that's ready to go in the water. The water in this pot is right at about 200 degrees and we're only supposed to dip these for about five seconds. Your first reaction when you pull the chicken out of the water is you probably think that these bags don't work that good. But what I've noticed is that after you set them on the table here and let them sit for a minute, I think they continue to contract and shrink. And after, I don't know, 30 seconds to a minute, they actually look pretty good. In fact, I would say these do just as good of a job as a vacuum sealer does. Once the bag is done contracting, you can pull the straw out, pull the zip tie tight, and the reason that I use these pliers to pull the zip ties because usually my hands are wet and it's hard to get a good grip on that, but uh, the pliers work great. I like to cut the tail of the bag off. That's, I mean, you don't have to do that, but I think it looks a lot better. And as I said before, kind of the whole point of this is to make an attractive package that people want to buy. All that's left to do now is to throw these guys in the freezer and wait for the next 50 chicks to be ready to harvest. Thanks for hanging out with me today, guys, and I hope I'll see you again on Farmer Tyler Ranch.